What's up, Nail Geeks? Today I am showing you guys August Polish Pickup. The theme is at the carnival, and I have several polishes and goodies to show you guys today. Without further ado, let me get to these amazing products. So first up is Baroness X. This is her polish contribution for the month. This is Carnival Glass, described as a topper with green, blue, violet, copper, magnetic pigment, pink to green aurora shimmer, violet to green iridescent flakes, green to violet iridescent flakes, and blue to red UCC flakes. Inspiration is Carnival Glass. Price will be $12.50 and there is no cap. So this is intended as a topper show. I wanted to show you guys just how much it can transform even a bright color. So here I'm wearing a very cobalt, very bright blue for my base and I'm going in with one coat magnetized over the blue and as you can see here it gives a lovely galaxy like effect lots of tiny dense sparkles to see overall and that magnetic pigment is very strong and shifty so you can see here very nice jelly formula really builds up very fast for that one coat and lots of movement on those magnetic particles so easy formula i would recommend a glossy top coat to really get this one to pop and especially those sparkles and that aurora shimmer very, very shifty, easy to use. I think this one was a very reactive magnetic overall, and I'm using my normal neodymium magnet on it. Up next is Baroness X's Acetone Antidote. This is in the scent Lemon Beignet, inspired by beignets and Mardi Gras. Price will be $4.25, and there is no cap for it. So this one I've been using, I chucked my old uh, pump bottle and I've been using my Zoya bottle to refill. So this is roughly seven ounces of pure acetone that I'm putting it in and I'm using an entire vial for it. If there was ever a month for you guys to try an acetone antidote, it's this month. This smells delicious. It smells very dessert, very bakery and a lovely lemon scent. Next up is Blush Lacquers. This is Le Cirque de Reves. Described as a black base polish with violet to pink to red to orange to gold shifting shimmer and holographic flakes. Inspired by the Night Circus novel by Aaron Morgenstern. Price is 11 and there will be no cap on this one. So I do want to know on my swatches, I felt like this was being very, very shy. Um, I felt like the video is giving you just a bit more of a better representation of it. I want to note that the shimmer in this is very, very strong. I felt like my swatches kind of lean more of like a plain old black hollow, but that is not the case. The shimmer here is very, very strong. You'll mostly see it as this very vampy purpley shade that's almost flirting with being a pink, but in angles, you'll see it shift over to this lovely golden color. So very pretty. You'll, like I said, you'll mostly see it as that pinky shade, but on extreme angles, very, very shifty. So overall, this feels very rich and creamy on application, builds up crazy fast on the nail for opacity. I'm gonna suggest two coats. I had no problems with the hollow flakes in this one. Very, very sparkly overall, though I would recommend a glossy top coat on this to really make it pop. After topping off with my normal top coat, I had no texture with this one ever. Just very vampy, very rich, very pretty. Next up is by Danny Viana. This is from the Top of the World, described as an indigo crelly based duochrome shimmer with crystal UCC and UCC flakies. This is inspired by the view from the top of a Ferris wheel. The price will be 12 and there is a cap of 75 US and 10 UK. So this is very, very satisfying as a crelly. It applies very creamy, but it does have that nice squishy like appearance as a jelly so definitely a true crelly really nice formula overall it applies super smooth and buttery on the nail for opacity i'm going to suggest two coats as you can see here on that second coat it just built up crazy fast to opacity i do feel like the color you're seeing on my video is being very color accurate to what i'm seeing in person definitely an indigo so it does have a purpley appearance to it, but definitely got a blue undertone going on with it as well. I had no problems getting any flakes to come up on the brush and it laying down flat for me, so no issues to report here. Very nice overall, and in the full hand shot, I am wearing a glossy top coat to make that shimmer pop. Next up is Cameo Color Lacquers Fluffy Sugar High. This is described as a corally pink curly full of pink to gold to violet to blue to indigo shimmers hollow micro flakes, and scattered hollow sparkle. This is inspired by a picture of pink cotton candy. Price will be 11 and there is a cap of 100 bottles on this one. 
So overall, the formula is definitely curly-like, very, very opaque in how it builds up. Um, it kind of has that squishy bit of appearance to it overall in the final look. For this one, I'm gonna suggest between two and three coats. If you've got longer nails, you might need to go to that third coat. But if you've got just a bit of a free edge like myself, or if you're rocking those shorties, two coats and you'll be good to go. As you can see here on that second coat, very nice coverage here as well. Really quickly builds up to opacity. I do feel like on my monitor, the video is appearing color accurate for this one. This is definitely pinky, but it's got a nice coral undertone to it. So just a bit of orange mixed in there, um, but definitely I feel like the video is being color accurate, at least on my monitor. This one does dry down a little bit on the semi satin side, so I would recommend a glossy top coat to really make it pop as well. Next up is Crystal Knockout Scoop Me Another Snow Cone. This is described as a rosy light pink hollow base with purple aurora, rainbow iridescent shimmer, and holographic micro glitters in copper, gold, blue, and teal. Inspired by snow cones. The price will be 12 and the cap there is none. So this one is what I would consider a full coverage glitter in that it builds up crazy fast to opacity for Opacity, I'm going to suggest between two and three coats on this one, though honestly on the second coat, which is what you'll see here in just a moment, I had wonderful opacity here as well. I'm telling you guys, the makers absolutely brought it this month. This is going to be one difficult month to decide on your wish listing. So here, second coat, as you can see between the first coat here, it does shine on a little bit on the semi-matte side. So because this is just super sparkly and so shimmery overall, I would recommend a very glossy top coat. And after top coating with this one normally, I had no texture with it. So super smooth application here, very sparkly, very blingy. And it does have a very almost rosy, like a rose gold pink kind of shimmer warming up overall the final look, if that makes sense. So here on the full hand shot, I am wearing my glossy top coat. And as you can see, smooth sailing, very sparkly, very blingy and in your face. Next, Foxfire Wax and Bath Company brings us a hydrating lip scrub in the scent Snow Cone and Emulsified Sugar Scrub in the scent Caramel Apples and Funnel Cakes. So what you're seeing here is the lip scrub, and as you can see, this is exactly how it came to me. It is just packed full of really lovely oils overall. I did use it on my lips, however, I was going to spare you guys any um, up-close shots of my face, so I want to show you guys on my hand how this one has a very very finer grit to the sugar here overall it's got lots and lots of oils here i had wonderful wonderful results from this using it on my lips and here on my hand you can see it really soaks into your skin like crazy so after you rinse it off with water um very very moisturized afterwards and not overly greasy and then comparing it here with the emulsified sugar scrub, this one has just a slightly larger grit to it overall. Now the lip scrub smells like snow cones and this one smells like caramel apples and funnel cakes. Holy cow, you guys, I want to eat this, but don't because it's not edible. It smells amazing. It smells just like a caramel apple and a funnel cake. It's very bakery. It's got that apple -y undertone with caramel in the background. Really, really nice. So here I'm comparing it. As you can see, that lip scrub really soaked into my skin nicely, and you can see that very, very fine grit. And then on the emulsified sugar scrub on the right, you're seeing it's got that slightly larger grit to it, but still it's got that nice oily effect to it, so it really moisturizes your skin. When you rinse it off, same results, really, really nice, and you'll have moisturized skin afterwards with lovely exfoliation. Next up is Lemming Lacquer. This is Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Next up is Pennywise the Dancing Clown. This is described as an orange red shimmer with gold orange copper red iridescent flakes, red to bronze to copper multi-chrome flakes, and scattered hollow micro flakes in a darkened reddened plum base. Inspired by the movie It, specifically during the dancing scene, this will be $13 with a 250 bottle cap in the US and $25 in the UK. So overall, this one has a lovely jelly-like feel to it. It does apply super opaque on the nail, as you're seeing here on that first coat. It has a very rich formula, so that brush definitely helps move it across the nail. Just know I would recommend going in with thin coats, as this one builds up crazy fast overall. 
I do feel like the video is being color accurate. It's a very, very vampy type of red. So there's just that bit of a burgundy like feel overall. And it's got that slight, slight, slight orange undertone, which I feel like it's mostly coming from that shimmer, which is very, very strong in person. I usually give my bottles a good shake before applying. And I had no problems picking up those flakes or having them lay down flat for me for that matter. For opacity, I'll suggest two coats on this one. After top coating, I had no texture. Next up is Moonflower Polish. It's not about the parakeet. Described as a reddish orange shimmer polish with hints of red to green aurora pigment and iridescent green micro flakes. Inspired by My Little Pony Equestria Girls, an episode at the carnival with Sunset Shimmer. Price on this one will be $12.50 and there is a 75 bottle US cap and a five bottle UK cap. So going in, I wanted to show you guys how it wears alone by itself. This is a very bright orange. In person, there's a very strong golden shimmer, as you can see here. Um, when wearing it by itself, I would recommend either two very thin coats or going in normal, as you can see on my index finger, one coat here. Very rich, obviously this is a stamping polish, but you can definitely wear it as dual styled polish. So here I'm going in and I'm just gonna stamp off over my middle finger, which is I have a white cream on, just to show you guys how it stamps over light and black. Over black, it's gonna give you a very strong shimmery-like effect. So it easily has this very green glow overall, as you can see there on my ring finger. Over light colors, it easily pops, mostly stronger as that orange that you're seeing on the entire nail. So this does, if you wear it on its own, it does dry down a little bit on the matte side. So I would recommend a glossy top coat to really make that shimmer pop like crazy. Next up is Night Owl Lacquer Flying Free, described as a vintage sky blue filled with red, green, gold, aurora shimmer, a rainbow of four different colors shifting crystal chameleon flakes and holographic micro flakes. This one will be 12 50 and will have no cap. So this one feels very jelly-like to me on application. For opacity, I'm gonna suggest between two and three coats. This one's really gonna depend on your nail length and your application type. So overall, I feel like two coats is just fine as you'll see here in just a moment. Now the shimmer here takes center stage for everything. In the video, in my swatches, all of that. You can really see that shimmer pop out. It's very, very strong in person. You'll mostly see it as this orangey pink color, like what you're seeing here in the bright lights. And on angles, you'll see that shimmer really shift over to a lovely green. Very, very glowy, really intense and in your face. Now, that said, in the background, this does have what I would consider a very, very holographic effect as well. So it's really just all about the shimmer here obviously but i just want to note this one does have a lot of hollow in it as well after top coating i had no texture and next we've got polish this is a british blondes described as a soft blonde cream with iridescent red to green flakes metallic red to green flakes and crushed gold flakes inspired by the british blondes burlesque troupe price is 12.50 and there is no cap on it so this one applies like a true Corelli once again. It definitely really builds up to opacity very quickly. As you can see here on that first coat, very nice coverage overall. I do feel like the video is being color accurate here. Now I feel like this one's gonna kind of play up with your skin tone overall. So I'm very warm and I feel like this really latched on and just kind of played up as a nude type of flirting with a peach on me, to be honest. So. Just noting, I feel like if you're either lighter or darker, it's gonna pop on you just a little bit different. So overall, really nice flakes here. They give this lovely neutral type of appearance overall. So they're very strong and they make a pond effect, but they just give this really nice gilded appearance between golds and bronze and reds and greens. Very, very pretty. For opacity, I'm gonna suggest two coats and you'll be good to go. And after top coating like normal, I had no texture whatsoever. And here we've got Pretty Beautiful Unlimited. This is Fluff and Stuff, described as a medium blue base mixed with scattered holographic pigment, silver holographic micro glitters, spiced up with a mix of three types of crystal chameleon flakies and finished off with a heaping helping of Aurora pigment. Inspired by Cotton Candy Ice Cream, this one is 13 and the cap is 180 US bottles and 20 UK bottles. So this one is very jelly-like on a 
on buildup. Overall, for opacity, I'm going to suggest going in between two and three coats as that first coat, it might look very, very jelly, but trust me, in a moment you'll see it builds up crazy fast on the nail. Overall, definitely a lovely medium blue. It's very vibrant in person. I do feel like the video is being color accurate on my monitor. The shimmer in this one, once again, is very, very strong here. You'll mostly see it as this reddish type of pink and easy, easy shift over to green on angles. There's loads of sparkles to be seen here and the flakes also complement that shimmer shift very, very nicely as well. Um, they are in the small, medium, and large variety overall. I had no issues with them laying down flat for me or picking up from the bottle. After top coating, no texture whatsoever. Just easy peasy, super shimmery. Now, Pretty Beautiful Unlimited is also bringing us a matte top coat this month. This is Fluff and Cream and is described as a delicious combination of juicy bubblegum, cotton candy, juicy apples, and pears blended together with sugared candy lemon drops meshed and crushed with madagascar vanilla all served up with a sweet creamy bowl of ice cream this one is also inspired by cotton candy ice cream price will be seven and the cap is 210 us and 30 uk so here i'm just putting one coat over her polished pickup shade and now i did go in and just kind of speed up the drying process with a hair dryer and really nice mattifying overall the scent is very nice, very fruity, and it's very much on the sweet side, so bakery lovers, this one is definitely for you. And next up, we've got Scoflaw. This is Circus Peanuts, described as a soft peach orange cream with neon orange and aqua glitters and a delicate aqua sparkle shimmer. Inspired by those lovely Circus Peanuts, price will be $12.50 and there is no cap on this. So this one is a what I would consider a very dense Crelly overall. It applies crazy opaque on the nail. For a pass, I'm going to suggest two thin coats on this and it will just pop like crazy. I feel like this is another one of those that might lean a little bit more orange on some. I feel like this one like really packed a punch and leaned very strong peach on me. It almost flirts with being like a peach ice cream type of shade, if you will. So overall no problems whatsoever getting those glitters to come up on the brush very very strong self-leveling qualities as you can see here on that second coat it applies crazy opaque but let it settle itself out and you'll be good to go now this does dry down a little bit on the matte side so i would recommend a glossy top coat which is what i'm wearing on the full hand shot and beautiful coverage overall makes it really pop on those glitters And finally, we have Supernatural Lacquer. This is Haunted Mansion, described as a neon green with orange to green flakes, indigo to green flakes, and dark blue to purple flakes, aurora, and glitters. Inspired by haunted houses at the carnival, price will be 12, and there is a 190 US bottle cap and a 10 UK bottle cap. So this one is crazy, crazy neon in person. I feel like the video is being decently color accurate overall. Um, I was kind of playing around with my macro lens on some of these bottles if I felt like it was more advantageous to show you guys it with the macro. I feel like with the macro or my regular lens on the bottle shot, it was just blowing up the color and freaking it out regardless. So I do feel like my nail shots here are being color accurate. I would describe that base color as a neon acid green. This is crazy, crazy bright, really in your face kind of got that really strong warm tone going on it doesn't in my opinion it does not need a white undie with it however overall i would suggest going in with three thin coats if you wear it on its own as you can see here very nice buildup overall in very very bright lights i can see just a touch of my free edge but i felt like it looked perfectly fine in person um, i do think that i have very prominent free edges so I feel like that's why you can kind of see it here so there is a bit of versatility with this one if you wanted to wear a white undie and I can't even imagine how bright it's going to be with a white undie but definitely acid acid green very very bright very pretty no problems whatsoever with the flakes and they laid down nice and flat for me So Polish Pickup August opens up for business. 
August 2nd at 10 a.m. Eastern Time and will close on August 5th at midnight Eastern Time. I will link you guys below to Polish Pickups Shop. Wishlisting is currently open right now. This is going to be a crazy month, you guys. I'm screaming along with you guys. Very lovely smelling things, beautiful polishes. This is such a fun month. I'll also throw in my blog post below as well if you guys want a written review. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.